All right, so let us talk about the next high-end SOC from MediaTek named the Dimensity 8000. So as most of you may know already, MediaTek launched a flagship SOC last month named the Dimensity 9000, which uses a lot of latest stuff that is also used by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Now one issue with these latest flagship SOCs from Qualcomm and MediaTek is that they are very expensive when compared to their predecessors. In fact, it is said that the Dimensity 9000 carries nearly double the cost of its predecessor. This means the phones that are coming with the Dimensity 9000 are going to be way more expensive than this year's Dimensity 1200 power phones. So a solution to that is to launch some other high-end SoCs which are cheaper than the Dimensity 9000 so that they can be used for premium mid-range phones. Now this year Qualcomm did exactly that with the Snapdragon 870 which was not only a less powerful chipset as compared to the 888 or 888 Plus but also less expensive. So that is the reason why we saw a lot of upper mid-range phones powered by the Snapdragon 870 this year. Coming back to the Dimensity 8000, MediaTek talked about this chipset at its press conference recently but did not reveal any specifications or the launch date. Now this chip is to the Dimensity 9000 what Snapdragon 870 was to the 888 which means a lower cost alternative. According to Digital Chat Station who is a very reliable source on Vivo, the Dimensity 8000 is set to launch pretty soon and we are going to see this chipset powering phones such as the Realme GT Neo 3 and some phones under the Redmi K50 series. Now I said some phones under the K50 series because it is already officially announced by Redmi that the K50 series will feature the Dimensity 9000 as well. So this means we can at least expect the vanilla Redmi K50 to launch with the Dimensity 8000 so that its price is not very high. As for the specifications of this chipset, it is based on the 5 nanometer process and has an octa-core CPU with 4 Cortex-A78 cores clocked at 2.75 GHz and 4 Cortex-A55 cores clocked at 2 GHz. So there is no Cortex-X1 or X2 core here like the Dimensity 9000. In terms of the GPU, this chipset has the Mali G510. For comparison, the Dimensity 9000 has the Mali G710. One thing to note is, while the CPU is based on the older ARM version 8 designs, the GPU is based on the newer ARM version 9. And this new GPU offers up to 22% better power efficiency and also twice the performance than the previous generation of ARM GPUs. Well, as we know, the MediaTek chipsets are cheaper than the Snapdragon chipsets, so the Dimensity 8000 may become a very popular choice for premium mid-range phones next year. Anyways, that's it for this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.